Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here for another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to resolve if you're coming across an issue in your Windows 10 or Windows 11 computer with the Blue Mail app. So when you're attempting to launch the app and it says that you'll need a new app to open this link and you're having this issue, in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to hopefully resolve it without too much of a hassle. And we're going to go ahead and jump straight into it. So we are going to start off by opening up the search menu. Type in regedit, R-E-G-E-D-I-T, best result, check them back or registry editor. Go ahead and right click on that and select run as administrator. If you receive the user account control prompt, select yes. And now before you proceed in the registry, I would suggest you create a backup of it. So if anything were to go wrong, you could easily restore it back. In order to create a backup, it's very simple. All you have to do is select file and then export. File name, I recommend naming it the date in which you're making the backup. Set export range to all and save it to a convenient and easily accessible location on your computer. And if you ever needed to import it back in, all you have to do is select file and then import and then navigate to the file location. Now that's out of the way, let's proceed by double clicking on the HK current user folder. Do the same thing now for the software folder, so double click on that. Should be a Microsoft folder in here, double click on that. And then go down to Windows, and once again, double click on it. It should be a current version folder in here, double click on that one as well. And then finally, there should be a run folder. You just want to left click on that one time. And now on the right side, you want to locate something that says blue mail. Go ahead and right click on this value and select delete. You want to select yes. And now that that has been deleted, go ahead and close out of the registry editor and you do want to restart your computer at this time. So let's go ahead and just close out of here and then restart our device. And there you go, guys. Pretty straightforward process. Do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.